Hello everyone, welcome to back my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Sofia Vergara's palatial estate in the star-studded Los Angeles neighborhood of Beverly Park evokes an old-world grandeur fit for royalty. But in curating the space, the actor wanted to ensure that guests would feel comfortable there. I'm not afraid to spend money, but it has to be for something practical, not just things that are there to look good, Vergara told Architectural Digest. I didn't want furniture that is so precious that people would be afraid to use and enjoy it. Vergara, the modern family star who more recently played notorious crime boss Griselda Blanco in the eponymous Netflix series, is on the March cover of Architectural Digest one of several celebrities who opened their doors to the magazine for its Hollywood at Home issue. AD began in Los Angeles more than 100 years ago, and the city and its architecture continue to charm and influence the design world, even today, the magazine's global editorial director Amy Astley said in a statement. For this year's Hollywood at Home issue, we went inside the private spaces of some of the most innovative industry talents. Vergara's home is brimming with historical charm and opulent details. Baroque armchairs in the living room, a Spanish toll chandelier in the cavernous family room, and hand-embossed floral plaster detailing on the dining room ceiling. But achieving the look and allowing those features to stand out required a significant transformation. There were arches on top of arches, all with columns. It felt like a castle in Transylvania. Vergara said, recalling how the property looked when she first bought it. Hoping to modernize her new home, Vergara brought in designer O'Hara Davies Gitano, who also spoke to Architectural Digest for the feature. Sophia articulated a clear vision for the project, the designer is quoted saying. She wanted a home that felt ethereal yet grounded, something fresh, clean, and bright, with lots of green antiques that added patina and warmth to the architecture. The high-profile renovations have not been without controversy, however. Last November, contractors who worked on the property sued Vergara for $1.7 million, alleging that she breached contract and mistreated employees, court records show. Vergara's attorneys disputed the accusations and filed a counterclaim last month, alleging the contractor sued erroneously after Vergara complained of negligent and inadequate work. Though there are teal notes in Vergara's soft furnishings, threads of color woven through rugs, and lustrous gold and bronze accents found on fixtures and furniture, the home's palette is largely calming and neutral. I don't like crazy jolts of color, Vergara told the magazine of her preferred color scheme. Pastels were also a no-no, she explained, because they remind me of the Golden Girls. The interiors are accented, however, with plants and greenery in many rooms, a lively design choice that both matches and accentuates the property's sizable grounds, which include a stucco roof pool house and an alley of olive trees. Every room has special flourishes to add depth and interest to the composition. Vergara's interior designer, Olivia Davies Gaetano, explained. In the master bedroom, one such flourish is an antique gold Swedish mirror. Courtesy Architectural Digest, the estate's outdoor spaces, or rather, their potential, was a major draw for Vergara. I love that you could see the landscape from every room, even though there wasn't much of a garden to look at yet. I knew what I would do to make it my own, she said. Landscape designer and antique dealer Stephen Block brought her vision to life adding earthen pots, antique fountains, and tropical elements that nod to the actor's Colombian roots. The result is a lavish property ready for entertaining. My friends from Colombia find any excuse to visit, Vergara told A.D. There's just something about this place that makes guests want to stay. It's special. I still wake up every day thinking, I can't believe this is my life.